Hi guys, how are you? Camilo here. I'm going to make this one short and sweet. I wanted to talk to you about an email that I got recently. Someone opted into one of my campaigns um, that I ran a couple of weeks ago and she has been reading my email series as I engage and nurture my leads. And she wrote to me the other day, very simply, you know, can you help me? I really want it. I really want this. I really want this. Can you please help me? And I thought to myself, you know, in a previous lifetime, I probably would have picked up the phone and spent, you know, quite a bit of time on the phone with this person because my, my initial inclination is to help people, to motivate them, to get them to do stuff and to get them to finally get out of their own way because I know what it's like to be stuck. Okay, but I also know what it's like to sort of like open your eyes, like empty your cup and decide you're going to change something and sort of like humble yourself, you know, like get to a point where you accept that you need to start thinking and doing things differently and that you may not even know how to do it. So you go out there and you try and seek answers and you just simply open yourself up to whatever knowledge you're finding from whatever source or whatever person. And I thought to myself, if I do this, if I call this person and I decide to handhold as I have in the past, it's going to set the wrong precedent and it's going to do that person more harm than good. Not only that, but it's going to sort of ruin my plan, which by the way, in case you didn't know, the whole point of what we do is to build a business while having a life. This is why what we do is so appealing, even for a corporate executive like myself, because I know that I can replace a very nice income without having to slave away 60, 70 hours a week. Okay. So when I put things in perspective that way, the answer is not to call someone and say, Hey, I am going to help you. The answer is really to ask the question, you know, what are you really willing to do to get there? Are you truly ready? Are you at the point really and truly where your desire is so strong, burning a hole in your heart and your soul that you are willing and ready to do whatever it takes. And more importantly, you're willing to empty your cup and just do exactly what you're told to do so that you can experience experience the euphoria of things finally happening in your life the way you always dreamed of. And that's the key right there. So I immediately send an email back and I said, look, we have an amazing community. We have an amazing team and we'd be awfully happy to help you because this is what we truly are about. I want you to go to this page and watch this presentation one more time if you haven't watched it, okay? And listen to the message of these two guys. And then I want you to go to this page and when you have joined, then you email me and I will email you back with precise and simple instructions on exactly what you need to do to get started and start changing your life today. Nothing. Have not heard a peep. And guys, I have a question for you, for the love of God. If I can't get you to seriously commit $25 to begin a journey to change your life, okay, to begin a journey in which you are going to replace limiting toxic belief systems that are keeping you and holding you back, if I can't get you to commit $25 to see what our community of budding and thriving online entrepreneurs are doing to change and transform lives everywhere for themselves, for their families, for friends, loved ones, and fellow peers and colleagues. If you can't do that, then you just don't want it bad enough and you are looking for a free ride that does not exist. You are going to have to work hard. You are going to get frustrated. You are going to have to learn things that you don't know today. You are going to have to go through the arduous task of getting really uncomfortable. There's no way around that, guys. But here's, here's the beautiful thing. I work for a startup okay, that has invested millions of dollars in infrastructure, in software development. I started at this company as a creative director thinking this is going to be my golden ticket. It's a startup building a software product that could get bought in a couple of years by some big company out there and I can end up walking away with a nice payoff. All right, and when I started, we were at two and a half million dollars in revenue. We doubled in a year. We're just now starting to break even. And they have spent millions of dollars in this business. Do you realize that you don't have to spend even a micro fraction of that to be wildly successful. And you know what else? You can have a life. You don't have to travel in a commuting schedule that 
puts you on the road 500 miles every week. You don't have to wake up to the alarm clock because you have to be at work by a certain day uh, time or go home at a certain time or eat lunch at a certain time or you don't have to worry about only observing certain holidays because that's the company policy or taking so many days off or you know rationing your days off figuring out when and where you can take vacations because your income and your vacation policy dictate that. Do you realize that you have another option? So when are you going to make a decision to stop, to stop looking at another capture page, another video, another magic launch? And when are you going to finally focus on the thing that can actually get you to where you want to get, which is staring you in your face right now if you just stop? and you clear your mind and you take one tiny action which is click the button join learn and do so simple guys so simple stop looking for the magic bullet it does not exist but you know what does work fundamental stuff product that people want marketing strategies that work and then selling to people who actually want to say yes i'm in I'd like to do that. It's just that simple, guys. So please, 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 please find a desire, find a burning desire, the burning why that's going to get you to take action, to do whatever you have to do to get out of this rut that you're in so that you can actually start manifesting change. It's right there. But it starts right here. And then this feeds the stuff right between your ears so that you can actually get to know the greatness inside of you. You know what to do. Take action now. If you have any questions, inbox me on Facebook. I'd be happy to help you any way I can. But the best thing you can do right now is to simply stop putzing around and get started doing something today. Take care. We'll see you next time.